My name is Todd Mackey. I work here at the Minnesota State Lottery. I work here as a research analysis specialist senior, uh, which means I get to take the lead on some of our research projects. Believe it or not, the lottery is what I would call my first real job out of college. So back in 1990, before the first scratch ticket was ever sold, I was employed here. And now I've been working as a mate member uh, for probably the last uh, close to 20 years. Our local president retired about a year and a half ago, and so I took over as a local president for 1001. I like to tell people that the state lottery is more like a big family than a small state agency. I get to help develop information that allows the lottery to make good decisions. Some of the, the research that we've done in the last couple of years is with higher priced uh, scratch games. One of the secrets behind our success this last year is a $30 scratch game ticket called Million Dollar Match. We always have our, our casual players, which is fantastic because a, a lottery works really well when you've got millions of people uh, chipping in a couple of bucks a piece uh, to try their luck on the lottery. If you start taking a look at all of our scratch games, there's a lot. Uh, we probably will do uh, 70 different scratch games uh, this next year. And not everybody scratches for the same reason, really. And two of the biggest categories are folks who really like to take their time with the tickets and play through the longer playing games like Crossword and Bingo and Slingo. And the other folks who are really after that, all right, where is my um, reveal the dollar symbol? Uh, did I win, did I not win? Uh, which is much faster scratch and action, uh, if you will. There's probably three or four uh, different scratch vendors, and there's a lot of layers uh, that go into each one of those tickets. And then after that, we've got some for administration and salary and printing tickets and the rent and the vehicles. The retailers also earn a commission uh, on the sale of tickets. After all of those things are, are uh, taken out of the lottery dollar, we still have dollars left over. And those are the dollars that go to the state, uh, to the general fund, and over to the Environment and Natural Resources Trust Fund and two other funds uh, over at the DNR. So over the years, we've been able to uh, contribute a lot of money to Minnesota's environment as well as uh, even more money to the state general fund. We like to use the line, when you play Minnesota wins, so whether you win or lose personally, um, you know that there's a greater good or a, a, um, a larger cause that is going to benefit even if you're not taking home uh, wallet fulls of cash. Our super big prizes are right here on this stage in front of this banner uh, with a big check uh, for presentations. The thing that amazes me most is uh, most folks say, I'm going to keep my same job um, and go back to work the next day. Um, and I think that's because Minnesotans are really a practical bunch of folks. So this last year was the best ever sales year that the lottery's ever had in 22 years of sales history now. And our record was $520 million worth of lottery tickets. Where do we go from here? In 10 years, who knows what the world is gonna look like? We'll all be, probably be virtual and digital um, by then in, in some form. And we'll see what it looks like when we get there, I guess.